Hi, hello everybody. This is Jatin Ambasna, and I'll be explaining ER diagrams. I'll be showing you simple examples of making ER diagrams. Let's start with. We'll take first example as student writes examination. So what we have to do is here we have to identify basically the nouns and the verb student examination become nouns right is a verb so student becomes an entity basically student is an entity and for entity we use rectangle whereas on similarly examination also becomes an entity and since it's a noun it becomes entity and for entity we use rectangles so these are two entities and these two entities are associated with each other in the form of rights relationship and for relationship we use diamonds and we use this connections to connect basically an entity and a relationship this connections cannot be directly used between the entities but yes it can be used between an entity and a relationship uh, or an entity and an attribute we will see later on what is an attribute let's take uh, yes these are nouns now see if you add plural form of uh, statement over here let's use the plural form instead of saying students rights examination we say students right examination so it does not make any difference the entity remains the same student entity exam entity remains the same and student right ex examination but yes to represent this plural form we can use cardinality the mapping cardinalities can be used and that can be shown in form of many to many cardinality over here the star represents many side of student many students are associated with uh, many examinations means a student writes many examinations and uh, in an examination an examination is written by many students so that is how a cardinality represents the plural form of this statement let's take another example students write examinations now yes same example now if we elaborate and elaborate on this example then entity can have attributes uh, we'll take an example of attributes in this example and this particular problem later on we will not be focusing on attributes we will be focusing on making entities and relationships so for student let's make some attributes one attribute is roll number now see attributes are represented by ovals student has name student has mobile number student can have email so these are the attributes that can represent a student entity and these are the attributes or these are the columns for which a data is stored belonging to student inside the database so data of a student stored in the inside the database can consist of roll number name mobile and email now for examination exam id subject can be an attribute academic year date time can be an attribute and uh, semester of examination can be an attribute so these basically are the attributes over here name mobile email subject academic year semester and date time and these two are specifically key attributes as you can see they have been underlined key attributes represent primary keys inside the physical databases we will go into that concept later on let's take another example that is students attend classes so student attends class so you can see it's a singular form over here student and class you can also give plural form students and classes attends as a relationship this is one of one more example you can add attributes to the student entity you can add attributes to this class entity and you can add attributes even to the attends relationship yes attributes can be added to an entity and also a relationship let's take another example 
driver drives a car driver drives a car now to represent a real scenario we can say a driver at a time drives only one car right so at a time driver one driver drives only one car so one driver drives one car and at that car is driven by one driver you can add an attribute over here when the driver is driving that car date and time over here as an attribute of this drives relationship so that will represent which driver has driven which car on which date and time let's take another problem actual problem statement the problem statement is to construct an ER diagram for a car insurance company where customers own one or more cars each and they can be associated with any number of recorded accidents yes they are allowed to do but take care please so car insurance company represents one noun over here car is a noun over here from car insurance company we can take car as an attribute or sorry an entity so we have to recognize the nouns to recognize the entities out of the problem statement another is a customer this is a noun so these are the entities and accident yes accident is an event so event can be recorded so accident also becomes a entity sorry an entity so this is one relationship that we are showing that customers own one or more cars each then uh, we'll represent this one or more concept that is the cardinality concepts later on but first we'll create the relationship customer owns car and there is an accident which is an entity and this is associated with the customer and car in the form of participation means customer and car both participate in an event called as accident so customer and car participate inside the event called accident so three entities are related with each other so you can see this relationship is an exam owns relationship is an example of binary relationship whereas participates relationship is an example of ternary relationship now let's focus on cardinality and some other roles and other issues so customer participates as a driver inside this accident and customer one customer can own many cars obviously a car cannot belong to more than one customers in the company records so one customer owns many cars and when that accident happens when that event occurs one driver is driving the car that one car so one car participates one customer participates and both car participate in one accident obviously they can participate in more number of accidents that's a different thing we can make the scenario for that where one customer and one car participate in more than one number of accidents so this is the example of actual problem statement and you can add on attributes over here there is no restriction on um, keeping attributes any number of attributes but you can keep meaningful attributes over here Thank you. Thank you for listening to me.